Our team coverage continues now with News 6 investigator Mike DeForest. He is live in the newsroom. And Mike, what does Aramis Ayala plan to do with the current and past death penalty cases? Well, Julie, Ayala announced that any defendants awaiting trial who could have faced the death penalty will now at most face life in prison. But just hours before Ayala made her big announcement yesterday opposing the death penalty, News 6 learned one of her employees was filing court papers trying to keep a murderer on death row. Nearly three years ago, prosecutors announced Sunel St. Simon could face the death penalty if convicted of murdering his girlfriend's teenage daughter, Alexandria Cherry. But now, state attorney Aramis Ayala has told Cherry's mother that prosecutors will not try to execute her daughter's accused killer after all. St. Simon is one of six defendants awaiting trial in Orange and Osceola counties who've recently learned that the death penalty is now off the table. Under my administration, I will not be seeking death penalty. Yesterday, Ayala declared that she would not pursue death penalty cases, claiming capital punishment costs too much and does not deter crime. But what about the 23 inmates from Orange and Osceola counties who are on death row right now awaiting execution? News 6 has learned that at least 15 of those condemned prisoners have filed motions in court asking a judge to throw out their death sentences. News 6 has learned that at least 15 of those condemned prisoners have asked judges to throw out their death sentences. Many of these inmates claim recent Supreme Court decisions have rendered their sentences unconstitutional because juries did not reach a unanimous decision. A state attorney spokeswoman says Ayala is waiting for further direction from the Florida Supreme Court on how to handle those cases. But Ayala's fellow prosecutors argue some inmates, like Dusty Spencer, should remain on death row. Ayala's office recently filed court papers trying to keep Spencer's execution on track. How recent? Just yesterday at 8.20 in the morning, less than two hours before Ayala announced she would not pursue death penalty cases. Now, in these court papers filed yesterday, Ayala's office was trying to show that a recent Supreme Court decision about death penalty does not apply in that particular inmate's case. Julie. All right, Mike, thank you. Mike DeForest reporting for us from the newsroom. Our coverage of the death penalty decision continues right now on ClickOrlando.com. You'll find all the latest updates right there on the homepage.